Hey, what's going on, people? Thanks for tuning into the Impact Lounge. You have myself, Ro the Great, and this is Explosion Review. Um, I appreciate the comments and the feedback. It's much appreciated. Um, I try to respond to a lot of you guys as much as I can, so I encourage you guys to continue to do so and let me know what you guys think of the review as well as what you guys think of the show Explosion because I like to see if some of our opinions or our like are different. So then diving into Explosion this week, May 5th, 2018 edition, our feature match is Rohit Raju versus Hunter Law. Now, Hunter Law is an enhancement talent. At least I like to think this is my first time hearing about him. Um, I'm sure if I'm wrong, one of you or some of you listeners will be able to correct me, but this is my first time hearing about him. And then uh, obviously Rohit Raju. Now, before I get into the match, I want to say they've really been still associating Rohit Raju with this Desi Hit squad, but we've yet to see some type of follow up. I don't know if it's something that's been scrapped. I hope not, because I think that could be something good. Uh, another group coming into impact. You know, I, I, I don't see it doing any harm. But with that said, as far as the match, you know, Rohit Raju's really been a mainstay on Explosion these past, you know, three, four episodes. And I think that's good for him because we see him on Impact. Sometimes they throw him in random matches. I know most recently he had faced Grado. So I think having him on here, because he's still a little bit green in the ring, this will only help him hone his craft, you know, being able to work in front of a crowd and be ready for actual TV. But with that said, with this type of match where you have the enhancement talent in Hunter Law getting as much offense as he got in on Rohit Raju, this is the type of stuff that does a disservice to Rohit Raju. I'm not saying that he necessarily has to squash people, but you give whoever he's facing, if you're trying to build them up, let them get a little bit of offense. But without a shot of a doubt, Rohit Raju should be able to dominate the match. He gets the win using the Crippler cross face, which I think is pretty awesome. I, I think it's safe to say Rohit Raju's uh, X Division guy. Or once he gets a significant push, he's probably going to be an X Division guy. He's not too much of a dive out of the ring, you know, high flying maneuver type. He seems more of strikes and, you know, maybe they're going with more mat technician. As I said, once he gets you know, some more experience underneath his belt. But I think something like that would be an addition to the X Division. If any of you guys remember back in the old WCW Cruiserweight d days, what made it special was you not only had the Lucha aspect, but you, you had some of the mat technicians like your Chris Jericho's, your Dean Malenko's, Eddie Guerrero's. And I think when you have that versatility within the division, you know, when we're getting some of these matchups, it's they're fresh it's not the same stuff because i know a lot of times with a lot of the lucha stuff not that it's bad but it can be spot heavy and you know everyone has different opinions on that so yeah rohit raju gets the win next we get the return of around the ring i actually shouldn't say return because they had it uh, last week but and this time we get eli drake and you know they were just pretty much him and josh were just clowning around um, Drake was talking about how he bought a Corvette and then he was talking about, you know, his friendship with Steiner and how he drinks, drinks a gallon of water. And also he gave out some workout tips. Um, it was funny stuff. I mean, you know what, Eli Drake, and I'm a big fan of his, he really had, really has a whole lot of a versatility to his character. I mean, we see him can be serious. We see him, he can be funny. I mean, some comedy, like everything. And I, that's why I think he's the face of impact. And I hope he sticks around for the foreseeable future. Now for our impact classic for the week, we get the one night only extravaganza from 2013, Samoa Joe versus Austin Aries. Now, normally with these classic matches, I'm kind of, I kind of check out because if it's something that I'm interested in, I'll watch on the GWN app. And 
you know, I've preached and preached on these reviews that I hope in the foreseeable future, instead of giving us the classic match, maybe you give us bits and pieces, but devote that time to another explosion match. But with that said, this match, this was some excellent stuff. Um, it's amazing. You can go back, you know, the past five, six years, you know, when it was still TNA and through all the turmoil that was going on, there were a lot of great matches that were overshadowed, you know, with the drama, you know, stemming from trying to find a TV network to late payments. So, you know, to see matches like this, it, br it brought me back. So I'm like, wow, you know, it's sometimes, you know, when you're able to look past all that backstage stuff and appreciate the wrestling aspect of it all, it's some great stuff. So I, I recommend you guys check this out. Austin Aries does get the win, but this was some incredible stuff. And it shows you sometimes you can have a match with a larger guy in Joe versus Austin Aries, who's a smaller guy, and they can put on an unbelievable match. So, yeah, check that out on the GWN app. And then finally, for our Impact Rewind, we get Matt Seidel versus Ishimori. This is the X Division title match. You know, I, I say to this on the most recent Impact review, I thought out of all their matches, you know, with this being the third, this was the weakest of the three. And I mean, that's fine. I think when you're facing the same opponent consistently, it's hard to capture some of the magic that you might get in, in the previous matchups. So, I mean, it was still nice, but just compared to the, the previous encounters, I just thought this failed to deliver. But yeah, and that's pretty much the review for this week. The explosion review that is. Thanks for listening. Until next time, you guys take care.